Innovation and Design Thinking IDT VTU Module 1 Shared Model in Team-Based Design Part 1 by J. Babu Shared Model in Team-Based Design Communication is very important in design thinking process. It generally occurs at the time of representation of ideas or a prototype. Proper communication enables the group members could see what they want to say and responds on what they see. There are different modes the ideas can be represented. A few of them are one narrative sketch, two conceptual frameworks, three physical model, four photograph, five an enactment, six CAD models, media models, Media models are powerful tools for as sharing models and more effective in the discussions during the product development meetings. There are two important aspects of media models are one abstraction, two resolution. Abstraction. Meaning of abstraction is the state of thinking deeply about something and not paying attention to what is around you or can be something pulled or drawn away. Here abstraction means amplification through simplification, which implies pulling specific characteristics out of context. Abstraction can be also used for differentiation between familiar and unfamiliar. There are four classes of abstraction in most of design projects. One functional abstraction works like two formal abstraction appearance or shape. 3. Mathematical Abstraction, Dimensions, and Optimization 4. Material Abstraction, Materials Figure 2 shows an example of two levels that are high level and low level of abstraction. The wooden car represents high level of abstraction, whereas steel car represents low level of abstraction. The reasons of saying a wood car prototype represents high level of abstraction is while communication to the group the designers will think this a model of a car made of wood and in the place of wood we can choose any material for a car and designers will have many options for a material for a final product. Steel car prototype restrict the use of other materials. Designers think that all cars should be made in steel only. This will limit the choices for material. This example shows how abstraction can make the familiar unfamiliar. Resolution Resolution means the quality, clarity of the shared presentation. Figure 1 shows a sketch of a car in a rough sketch and a computer-aided design or CAD model. CAD model have high resolution than a sketch by hand. Media Cascades during the development of a new product or service, it is necessary to enlist at least hundreds if not thousands of representations. The term media model coined by Jonathan Edelman and Rebecca Carano that refers a single representation as the arc of new product or service development. Two important characteristics of media models are abstraction and resolution which can be treated as two dimensions. Dictionary meaning of cascades is a small waterfall, typically one of several that fall in stages down a steep rocky slope. Cascades of media word refers here the sequence of representations over which the development of projects and unfolding the different media during the product development cycle. Figure 3 shows some focal points of media cascade of a project binding for a snowboard. As brief notes of a project then rough sketches followed by rough prototypes and CAD models then functional prototypes and finally an actual working product. Now we can see these representations as media model and examine them, how they are different in terms of resolution and abstraction. The Media Models Framework See the figure. There are two dimensions in media model abstraction and resolutions and there are different ways to represent product development stages. 
Figure 4 refers to the media model's framework in two dimensions. X dimension indicates resolution and Y dimension indicates abstraction. Positive X axis indicates high resolution and negative X axis indicates low resolution. Similarly, positive Y axis indicates high abstraction and negative Y axis indicates low abstraction. From the figure, we can note that process modeling tools, maps, conceptual photos and CAD models represent high resolution and high abstraction. Rough sketches represent high abstraction but low resolution. Manufactured products represent high resolution but low abstraction. Rough physical prototypes represents low resolution and low abstraction. User prototypes represent low abstraction and moderate resolution. CAD models represents physical things in geometries with no specific materials and refers to an entire class of product, not one real product. Hence, CAD models highly abstractive nature. As CAD models define all the features of the product precisely and there is no vagueness or uncertainty in a CAD model. So, CAD models has high resolution. Together we can say CAD models are both highly resolved and highly abstract. Prototypes and rough sketches display low resolution and differing in the levels in abstraction based on the situation in which they are used. Rough sketch is more abstract when compared to a physical model in the situation of designing a physical object. The explanation is, in rough sketches, three dimensions of a product are reduced into two dimensions. In the example of wooden car prototype, the material wood is advantages as an abstraction to avoid a design constraint as in steel prototype. We can use any materials for a car, high abstraction. One should note that manufactured products too are highly resolved but low abstract. Product development undergoes optimization process before it is manufactured. Hence the final products are not abstract as they are the actual things. Completion Media models may not represent the final product they only present a part of a project. Therefore, they present a portrait of incompleteness. This incompleteness grants design engineers to work more to fill the gaps. In this way, media models strengthen in different levels of completion and allow for discussion in every stage of product development. Media models are classified into three types they are. 1. Ambiguous media 2. Mathematized media 3. Hybrid media each type strengthens a different kind of completion. Ambiguous media Rough physical prototypes and rough sketches are the examples of ambiguous media. They help the design thinkers and engineers to fill in the gaps. Finally, they will be completed as engineers postulate so many possible formulations. They are inconclusive objects and can be expressed in different ways based on the knowledge and experience designer or engineer. In this way, they encourage divergent conversations. See the figure. 5. The objects say, I am not the real thing. I am a transitory notion. Mathematized media. Mathematized media represents highly realistic figures or images with the complete details including the dimensions. Hence, they encourage convergent conversations. These models generally prevent the big changes, see the figure 6. The objects say, I am the real thing. I am the underlying, unchanging truth of the thing. Hybrid media As per AI-powered chat on Bing.com, Hybrid media is the strategic use of traditional and new media to communicate your message in a more effective way. Hybrid models have the combinations of different media, such as drawings, text and photographs. Hybrid media grant many kinds of discussions and operations. These models are in the sweet spot for designers. 
they generally use physical interfaces in connection with high-level frameworks and allows a flexible exploration of how different elements relate to another. Designers can move elements to see how they fit into frameworks and also change the frameworks to see how they describe phenomena. Hybrid media has an effect and makes the model is completed. In hybrid media, mathematized elements tend not to get changed, whereas ambiguous elements invite changes. See the figure 7. The objects say, I am about provisional relationships among things. To summarize, ambiguous media models afford paradigmatic shifts. Mathematized media models afford parametric adjustment. Hybrid media models afford understanding and changes in relationships. It can be noted that the outstanding design projects apply either have a broad bandwidth media models or different types of media models. This reason behind this is having various types of media models breed various kinds of thinking patterns and various kinds of explorations. More insights will be collected on moving from one type of media model to another type as the project is moving forward. Thanks for watching. Comment for any suggestions. Like, share and subscribe for more videos.